Um, what's up, y'all? Sparty here. Um, I just want to touch on some issues that a lot of people have been having with pretty much the only two phones that use LG's OLED technology. And quite frankly, you guys obviously see the Note 8 right here. This is obviously a Samsung phone with a Samsung panel, but since this is AMOLED, a certain, you know, part, a certain version of OLED that Samsung makes, I'm using it as a, as an example. Okay, so a lot of people have been having issues with the V30 or not a lot, but a good amount of people have been speaking on the issues at the V30 and the Pixel 2 XL, which uses, you know, LG's OLED technology for their, for that six inch OLED, for that six inch display on the Pixel 2 XL. So there seems to be a an issue with the display having color shifting issues and not as stellar viewing angles. And I just want to get this out of the way right now. This isn't going to be me harking on LG or Google or anything of that nature. I just want to, or like applauding or being a fanboy or anything like that. This is just me talking from my experience. And this is probably something you won't be able to see on camera because A, this is a smartphone camera <laughs> and B quite frankly I think a lot of stuff just gets you know mistranslated when you're using a non-professional camera to record a video a video um so there's color shifting issues with the display on the V30 and the Pixel 2 XL <laughs> There's, um, you know, viewing angle issues, which for me personally, I don't care about viewing angles because I always have my phone like this or like this. And the times where I use this phone to watch videos or anything of that nature, I have viewing angle issues specifically because of the edge to edge infinity display. And I also have color shifting issues on here. Now. It's not going to be evident when you try to look at the wallpaper, but uh, turn the display down. <sighs> okay. So it's also not really going to be evident through a video recorded on a smartphone camera, but with with a smartphone camera rather, but kind of ironic a whole bunch of LG phones and Samsung phones show up while I'm talking about this as ads but you guys can probably see there's like a slight like darker tint on the edges of the display of my Note 8 as you guys can see there's like a brighter white tint when it comes to on the edge of this display when you're looking at this angle right then here there's really no issues here down here no issues there as well as i said it primarily happens on the sides of my note 8 it never really happens on the top or bottom which is totally fine with me now this isn't to say that you know samsung has that issue too but it's mainly just just to say that um just chalking it up to lg using piss poor displays or anything like that is also not the case because of the simple fact that Samsung has been doing this for years, right? They've had on every single high end Galaxy, on every Galaxy S, on every Galaxy Note, they're, I think, save for the Galaxy Round, <laughs> which isn't really a Galaxy S or Note, but they've always had AMOLED displays on there, right? So they've been, they've had. A total of eight years with the Galaxy Notes, with the Galaxy S, seven years with the Galaxy Note to perfect this technology for this specific size and this specific use case of phone, right? 
LG has only really used it twice. Well, three times, four times now, technically. But they've only used it twice consistently in a row, right? So, to say that, oh, they, well, they've had time to perfect it. And I'm like, yeah, sure, but <laughs> you guys didn't say the same shit when Samsung had... Their, when their displays were shit when they first came out, y'all, y'all, a lot of like these tech reviewers were shitting on AMOLED displays when they first came out, right? Not that LG's POLED technology is new. It's not new. Like I said, they've been using it since the LG G Flex. And they, as I said, they've only really used it for their specific phones three times. Th- three times. <laughs> Newest with the V30. Now, am I defending LG? No. In the in the TV market, at least, they're the pretty much the main proponent of OLED, right? So for them to have display issues with a smart with a smaller screen doesn't make sense to me. But I also am not a screen manufacturer. I don't know what goes into that type of stuff. I don't know how difficult it is to make a 50 inch display that's OLED compared to making a six to 6.3 inch OLED panel. I don't know how difficult that is. So I can't necessarily say LG fucked up. I can't say that Google fucked up for, you know, choosing LG for this. Like it comes down to a lot of different things when it comes to, what a display, how good a display is. Do I think that when I get my V30, which should be at least Monday, do I think that my V30 will have the problem and am I scared about it or worried about it? No, not really. Because I have the fucking screen, the color shifting issues on my Note 8 and it doesn't necessarily bother me if, unless I truly focus on the left or right side of the phone. Plus, I use wallpapers with darker backgrounds, so I can't see it on these, you know. I can't really see it on the edges of my wallpapers, especially on my lock screen. It's basically black on both sides, aside from right there. But... <laughs> There will always be display issues. There will never be a truly perfect display. Like, I hate it when people say, oh, it looks great. It looks the best, so it's perfect. And like, no. Like, this display has issues for me. It doesn't get, the AOD in general doesn't get bright enough in sunlight as compared to my V20 or my V10 or my G5 or G6, where it'll get brighter in sunlight, right? This is why when it came down to LG going with OLED, I wasn't necessarily, you know, <laughs> I wasn't rant, I wasn't raving about it because it's like, there's going to be more issues there than when they were using their LCD because they were using LCD for years, right? <laughs> If LG from the jump used OLED or started with like the G3 or G4, those issues probably would have been ironed out, right? So you can't ha- you can't give an advantage to Samsung because it's pretty unfair due to the fact that they've been manufacturing these for almost a decade now. <laughs> So, yeah, just keep that in mind. Let me know what you guys think of this. Does color shifting or any of that really bother you? Do you have your fucking, do you have your phone at the edge like this or like this to look at Kant? I don't know who does that. Like, I've never got that argument. I never understood that argument five, six years ago. And I don't understand. I understood it when, you know, phones, you couldn't have a phone like ever so slightly like this and weren't able to like see stuff. I understood it then. But now when you could basically see at least from right here with no issues, right? 
who is having their phone positioned like this? <laughs> who? Who is looking at content like that? What content would work like that? Nothing. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not going to make a huge rant video about this, but this is Sparta. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for the support. Um, as I said, hopefully the V30 content will start next. will start Monday. I really hope so, because I've been going through hell to get this fucking phone. But and I would report on the issues if I even if I even have any on that display as well. And if I do, I do. If I don't, which I hope I don't, I don't. And I'm not going to say the phone's crap because of it, but, you know, it's whatever. All right. Have a good one, you guys.